All right, guys. I wanted to share a quick little thing I did to hold our roto packs. Now, this might not be for everyone, and it ain't real pretty, but it works. And we just took a, uh, oh, probably about a 350 mile trip with these installed on my rack, and we had no issues with them. But I'm fixing to show you how I made them. Okay, so we have our standard roto pack here. I believe those are what the two gallon ones. Yeah, two gallon says right here. And you know they have this slot here that slides over the holder that you can buy from the company to slide them on and then it uses a lock like this to lock them on the factory holder. Well, I've got one of those uh, factory ones mounted on a tailgate holder that I made or a hitch holder I made and the things aren't cheap so I had some scrap laying around and I welded these up you know, some of my wheels aren't real pretty but they're strong and they're not going anywhere so let me just take this out this part here is off of the factory uh, holder that I had and it just this right here is pretty expensive I don't recall the price but more than what they ought to cost let me just get this off here okay I made this one to work with these now on this it didn't originally have that hole right there I drilled that through there and I'll show you why in a little bit this is the holder that I made to mount on a roof rack. This part slides over the, the rack and the top of bar of the rack will fit right up in there. And then this little piece here clamps over the bottom to keep this from moving side to side. And this piece here is what you tighten up. It'll fit across like this to keep this mounted. Pretty thick gauge metal all the way around. This is just a bent piece of strap. This was uh, just a pipe I had laying around. You see it's pretty good thickness there. And they just slide into the pack. I made it to where it fits pretty snug. And then the center one, as you can see, I welded a nut to the, there's a washer welded to this pipe and then a nut that fits the thread of this lock or this you know that holds it on there just screws in and then like I said you can see I left this hole when I tighten this pack on there this hole will line up let me pause this for a minute okay this hole will line up with this hole in this pipe and then I drilled a hose through this that a lock will fit through so you slide this through and it goes into this pipe and it sticks out enough that you can take a padlock if you find the hole here Let's see if I got this there's the hole it's hard to do this with one hand let me lay this over and you just slide the lock through there and lock it like so and that's not coming off I mean if anybody wants it bad enough to just bust that lock off but for uh, you know the average Joe is gonna maybe they see that and they're gonna go to the next guy uh, and keep the honest people honest you know what I mean but anyway it is a holder I'm gonna mount it to my rack so you'll see how that mounts on there and I've got it to where it, it holds the bottom of the can out a little bit. And I'll show that when I get it mounted to the Jeep. Now this is a little bit different one here, as you can see. I didn't want to buy another one of these. So I just used the washer and nut. Well, I actually welded a bolt in the end of these pipes. And it works just like that other one as far as how it mounts to the rack. That's pretty tight there. 
I just had an old piece of aluminum. I said it's not real pretty. I just kind of threw this together for our trip. And then this would just slide over them bolts. Okay, so I got the nuts and the washers off. But I just welded a, a washer with a, a bolt inside. I welded the bolt to the washer and then stuck it in there and just welded around the edge of the pipe. And then this piece here comes up so I can lock the uh, pack on. And let me see if I can slide this on there one-handed but you see it just slides on there like that I just have that aluminum piece that goes on like that and then I have see what I did my I put a lock washer and a nut on each one of these. And it doesn't take long, but if someone wanted to steal it, you know, it's just a little bit more they're gonna have to mess with to get it loose. And then I can take a padlock. Use the same padlock I got here. And just slide it through that center. And it's lock on there and it's secure. Now I'm fixing to mount it to my racks. So you'll see how this fits. So right now, since I only have two hands, uh, I'm going to take this bracket off, loosen this bolt, take it out, and then because this is going to go on the other side of the rack to clamp it to it. So as you can see, you just slide it over the top of the rack. And then when this bracket here is screwed up there, these little bolts I have welded to the end, straddles, the bars, keeps it from moving too much that away. And then that piece I welded right there, when it's bolted tight, it's gonna fit like this. And as you can see, this is slanted upwards. So my the bottom of my tank or gas can will clear this rail so i'm going to put the bolt in this bracket to bolt this on and i'll show you what it looks like when that's done So this is what it looks like when it's mounted. Now let's put the can on. If you're familiar with this, you just line this handle up and then the roto pack lines up. And I might use two hands probably, but you'll just push it on there. Like I said, I have these really snug, so I normally have to use two hands to kind of wiggle it on there. Then you see these dimples on this. There's two. Let me loosen this back up a little bit. There's two dimples there on the can that will fit in the dimples that's on the other side of that. And then you just tighten this top one down on top of it. And then on mine, you're going to bring this on around to where you can slide your pin in. Then you're going to take your padlock and find your hole in this pin and just slide your, your lock in there, whatever lock you choose to use. And now you can't, if you go ahead and push that against the side, it kind of tightens stuff up so it don't rattle. But you're, without taking that lock off, you can't get this handle off. And then when we made our trip, I had put these big zip ties on here and they're big enough that you can actually reuse them. And I zip tied my handle to this during my testing. I just haven't taken it off yet, but they didn't go anywhere. So you don't need this. This is not going nowhere. And as I was telling you earlier, I have it bent to where the can is at an angle and it doesn't rest on my bar right there. 
and uh, like I said over 350 miles and this didn't go anywhere you know it's got a little bit of you can push it a little bit but it's kind of like a spring and I could if I wanted to I could make this fasten to that bottom bar too but it doesn't need it it's not going anywhere you're not going to pull that off it's not going to bounce off going down the road so I feel very confident that this will work and uh it got them down lower. I did have some to where the mounts went flat against the rack. So this gas can had to sit above the rack. And with it at an angle, I got it down a little bit lower. And I really could have made it to where I could have got them all the way down. Just right above the door here. So I could have come down another inch, inch and a half easy. But that works for me when I have my traction boards stacked up they're about the same height as the top of the can so everything is kind of level across there and I like the looks of it let's see if I can come out here and give you a little bit more of a view from the back and view from the front and I believe it or not I haven't cut my bolts off on these yet but this used to be part of a trolling motor bracket. Hold your trolling motor on your boat. Worked out great. Hold that little shovel. Saving money, guys. This is the other bracket. It mounts identical to that other one. It just, what holds the gas can to it, to the bracket. Like I said, it's just a plate. And you can come up with all kinds of ideas. But once you get this part, this is the main part, is to get it to where you can mount it to whatever you're using. And just some pipes stretched out inside that oval hole on the gas can is all you got to figure out. And once you do that, you can lock it on there. So you don't have to spend all that money, especially for me. This was all free. This is just junk laying in my garage. So this was totally free for me other than weld wire. And I said, it may not be that pretty. It is kind of heavy, but it ain't going nowhere. Have you checked the metal that the factory ones are made out of? That stuff is thin. I'm surprised people ain't losing them cans all over the place. I, I guess it's enough, but anyway, these ain't going nowhere. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully this idea will give you ideas to make your own.